Welcome to my channel folks. In this video, we are going to see how to set up AWS Inspector for your account so that you can scan your servers for vulnerabilities. So I am in the Ireland region. So let us go ahead and choose get started. And as you can see here, it automatically is going to create the role that is necessary for your account. And it also needs certain EC2 instances that it can scan. So as of now, I don't have any EC2 instances in Ireland region. So let us go ahead and spin up an instance that we will be using. And for this use case, I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2 operating system. And then let us go with as default. And I'm going to ensure that I'm going to install the SSM agent also so that AWS inspector can install the necessary agents and the permissions necessary for that. If you don't know how to use AWS systems manager agent or install it, watch my video for the same and you will get to know that. So now I'm just going to choose the IAM role and which will ensure that my SSM agent can connect to the instance and also install the AWS inspector agents as well. So just choose the role and go ahead and click on next and then next and I'm going to tag the resource so that we can easily identify it. I'm just going to call it inspector and then click on security group and this being a test scenario I'm just going to leave it as defaults but in production you most probably would want to have more security for your account and then click next then launch and I'm going to choose the default security key that I have created for the scenario here and my instance is getting built so let us go back to the inspector console here and then I'm going to say tag the instances if you click on that it will show you how to tag your instances and since we have done that we have nothing else to do just click on next so it is going to ask you the assessment target that is the group the resources in the way that you want it I'm going to call this as Linux instance group and in the name I'm going to say AWS inspector so there we go it was still picking up the instances so click on next if you want to preview you should be able to see the instance there okay click on next and then what is the te assessment template that we want to use I'm going to use the CVE template so I'm just going to name this as CVE where does the CV come in? Here it is. I'm going to choose the common vulnerability exposure template and then I'm going to choose the minimum scan period so that I can scan my server more often for vulnerabilities and then click on next. And it is just giving me a list of things that I've selected just now and then click on create. So it's, it has created the rule and it has also created the resource group where it needs to be scanning. So if you want to run the scan immediately, go ahead and select the assessment template that you want to run it and click on run. And if the agent is not present or if the agent is not there, then the scan will most probably not happen. So in that case, you will get an error message something like this because the scan is not able to execute it or as the target instance is not having the agent that is necessary. So it is possible to install the agent remotely as well. So when you go ahead and preview the target, you can see here the health status of the instance is in unknown state. So that means that our instance is not re recognized by the inspector. So let us go back to assessment targets and I'm just going to go ahead and expand this group and click on this button which says install agent with run command and then click on OK. So you can see here the run command is going to go ahead and install the AWS inspector agent on my server now and it is going to take a minute or so for the installation to complete. And if you want to know what is the status of the run command you can come to the EC2 dashboard and scroll down on the left hand side you will find the run command and you can see here the AWS inspector run command has been successfully completed. So let us go back to my inspector dashboard and then I'm just going to go back to my templates and then expand it and then going to say preview target and check whether my status agent status is showing as healthy and then click on OK select my template click on run and now I should be able to see a success message saying my assessment has started and you can see here it is saying collecting the data 
usually it takes about 15 20 minutes for the data to be collected and then the vulnerability rules to be applied and then your findings will be shown here so let us leave it this instance to be running for some time and i have also set up aws inspector in another region where the scan is completed and we have some results to investigate so here we have all the high medium and the low severity vulnerabilities that has been identified so if i want to investigate what is this high vulnerability is all about if i go ahead and click on this it shows me what are the details if i scroll down you can see here the description of the vulnerability a flaw has been identified in the linux 4 kernel which allows uh, for arbitrary write on the kernel memory itself so that is how you identify it and if you want more information the link for the cve vulnerability is also provided so you can go ahead and find out whether this vulnerability is going to really exist in your resources and how you can fix it as well so that is how you set up aws inspector for your accounts to scan your resources and create findings and take remedial action as well if you have any problems in setting this up please go ahead and put it in the comment section i'll be happy to help them with you thanks for watching have a nice day